What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs, cups, and sides, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. This is September of 2022's reading for sign of cancer. This could resonate if you have cancer in any aspects of your charts. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, node, moon, haven, or Jupiter charts. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's um, High Priestess 205. Um, thanks for all the new subscribers. I just want to say that. We're almost like 14,100. So thanks for all the love and support. Just want to say that. Um, and I did receive some channel messages. So I'm going to deliver those um, as well. Okay. So the first one I heard was, um, now these are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So one message may apply for you, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. Um, there's a 14, 000, almost 14,100 of you guys on here. So, you know, you have to plug the message or messages in, how they resonate and apply for your own situation and story. Um, but the first channeling I heard was, um, um, a cancer has already got a huge shock of their life. One is about to. And then I heard a very significant ending of a relationship between a cancer and a Virgo. It's very, very, very significant. <clears throat> so you plug it in, how it resonates. Virgo energy in here. So um, one of you guys has already got the shock of your life. It sounds like already in the energetic space. One you're about to. Now, whatever shock this is, I feel it can go positively or negatively. You have to plug it in how it resonates, okay? Sorry, I've got a wardrobe malfunction going on. Um, so you have to plug it in how it resonates. And then um, a significant relationship ending between a Virgo and a Cancer is very significant. Now, you could be a masculine or femme Virgo, masculine or femme Cancer, but some kind of significant relationship ending there between a Virgo and a Cancer energy is very significant to a, a cancer, it sounds like. So, or to the Virgo or to both. So you plug it in how it resonates, cancer. Spirit messages, you have sign of cancer. A cancer is looking into renting a home. In a city. They're about to look into renting a home near someone they used to work with. This very well may not go well for you. Oh, shit. <clears throat> so you, <laughs> you plug it in, how it resonates. <clears throat> so one of you guys is looking into renting a home, I heard. Um, you're looking into renting. So renting um, from either a housing management company or a person, um, however that resonates and applies. But it's in a city in area, I heard. Whoever you are, cancer, and how this resonates. And... Um, you're looking into renting this home. It sounds like you've already, you already know where this home is. That's what it sounds like. You already know where this home is. You already know where it's located. Because I heard you're looking into renting next to a former coworker. I heard it probably won't work out. So, sounds like the former coworker don't like you, or you don't like them, or y'all don't get along, or something. But however that resonates, um, you know where this, um, you know where this home is. You know where it is, and it sounds like it's centrally located to where you want to rent. And it sounds like you're about to um, check into the details of the renting or you already have. How that resonates and applies, okay? Spirit messages you have for sign of cancer. But it sounds like your neighbor will be a former co-worker that you used to work with. And it doesn't sound like you guys were buddy buddies, frenzy frenzy. And I, I'm just being for real. Most certainly was not this, this pub. Your neighbor is not going to speak to you. Know this. And the neighborhood's going to get a huge ass wake up call. Okay. 
you're coming in very strong person that wants to rent this home um i heard uh your former co-worker neighbor will not speak to you and the neighborhood's going to get a huge ass wake up call so whoever you are cancer um i mean you haven't done this yet it doesn't sound like i don't know if you went and seen the home from a realtor or the housing management agency or contacted the um the um homeowner or what have you what have you to see it but uh but the neighbor of this home is a former co-worker i will tell you that and of yours and i heard the the neighbor will the your former co-worker and the neighbor of this home will not speak to you and it's going to give the neighborhood a huge ass wake-up call doesn't sound like i don't know if you want to become frenzies with this person um it doesn't sound like they like you so i'm just giving you a heads up there cancer if that resonates for you um whoever that's for okay i heard it's going to give the neighborhood a huge ass wake-up call a huge wake up call a huge wake up call that was big a huge wake up call so you plug it in how it resonates cancer um i heard that person will not speak to you they will not so they don't like you and i'm just being for real they do not like you boat money or property through an inheritance winning or windfall clouds temporary problems rainbow the most difficult part of the situation is over so i mean of course, you know, it doesn't matter if people like you or don't like you. I can care two fucks if people like me, and that's just the truth. That's the damn truth. But, I mean, how long does that person live there? I mean, you have to think, I mean, is that going to give you problems in the neighborhood? I mean, I'm not saying it will, but it doesn't sound like your former co-worker and you got along. And it sounds like there's reasons. This person knows you betrayed them in a huge way a huge way and you know this this person knows you betrayed them in a huge way and um they know this and you know this okay, okay yeah there's some bad blood there cancer so i mean of course you can choose to rent that place or not but just know you're uh the former co-worker of yours and the neighbor of that home is they don't they don't like you and they don't like you because you betrayed them in a huge way in the past well, hell, would you like that person if somebody did that to you? No, you wouldn't. So, I mean, we got to think about this logically and sensibly here. Spirit messages here after some cancer. The rent on this home is going to be huge anyways huge the rent on this home is going to be huge anyways huge i heard so whoever you are looking to rent this home um you're coming in very strong i heard the rent that's going to be on this home is going to be huge anyways so it's, i mean if it was me i probably i wouldn't do it but you know of course i don't know how bad you need a home what location you're looking in and what have you what have you but it sounds like they're going to charge arm and a leg for this the rent on this home so just know that it um it doesn't sound like you've like went and seen it the a realtor has shown it to you or housing management or the rent renter has shown it to you but just know they're going to charge a freaking arm and a leg for it deer and gazelle uh for some you could really strongly be dealing with earth signs if you are they could have taurus capricorn virgo and there's some rising venus ortho and name of jupiter charts for some i strongly feel you're dealing with two or two plus earth signs um you're dealing with virgo energy virgo uh ending of relationship energy strong in here cancer for sure for one of you uh, but for others you could just be dealing with earth signs in general you plug it in how it resonates Spirit messages you have sonic cancer. Retreat. Number 38 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 38 it could be a thought possible age of viewers, somebody you're connected to, or any other significant number in one's life. Number 38. Dear,
A younger earth sign is about to become very significant in a cancer's life. Some a date. Some a roommate. We have a lot of moving in here. Roommate energy and renting and etc. etc. A younger earth sign is about to become very significant in a cancer's life. For some, a roommate. For some, a date. Now, this person, I feel like we 36, 35 or below and have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. And their sub moon rising, Venus, North Node, Manhattan, or Jupiter charts. Whoever this earth sign is and how they apply and resonate to you. Cancer. Um, for some, it's a roommate situation. And for some, it is a um, um, dating situation. So, new relationship. Whoever this person is. Gazelle. An older Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, feminine is about to become very significant in Cancer's life. For one, she claims to be your friend and she's a co-worker. She's about to betray you in a huge way. An older Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, feminine co-worker is about to become very significant in a Cancer's life. I heard she claims to be your friend. So, um, really like frenemy energy, but I heard she's about to betray you in a huge way. You work with her if this resonates for you, Cancer. Um, she's an older Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo femme. Um, she could have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. But um, she works with you. She's about to betray you. Um, so this one looks older than this one. This one looks like a little young buck. And this is the younger one on the date or the rent, the roommate situation. This is... Um, like an elder. This reminds me like an elder. You plug it in how it resonates. She's the matriarch of her family. She's the matriarch of her family. She's going to try to control you soon. She's the matriarch of her family and she's going to try to control you soon, Cancer. So you work with her. She's a co-worker. She, or she's the matriarch of her family. So, and she's 35, 36 or above, and she's the matriarch of her family. So, she rules the fucking roost in her family unit, and that's just the truth. But I heard she's going to try to control you soon, Cancer, if that resonates for you. So, um, you plug it in how it resonates. I'd be careful somebody's co-worker. Um, she's the older Taurus Capricorn Virgo Femme, and she rules the fucking roost in her family unit, like at home. Um, but she's going to try to rule it soon over you. In a domineering, controlling tactic kind of way at work. Um, there are things called the EEOC if she starts discriminating against you, just to let you know, Cancer, if anybody needs to hear that. Okay? Um, cannot discriminate somebody against, uh, against somebody in a workplace situation based on age, race, sex, sexual orientation, uh, disability, or, um, or anything. Um, just to let you know. Okay, so if she starts pulling crazy shasty shit, make sure she's not discriminating against your ass because you go report it to the EEOC if anybody needs to hear that. Okay. Retreat.
a family that said <clears throat> a Leo feminine was dead, they were about to eat their words. A very significant insurance policy was put out, was fought, was drawn on this person. Through many shocking series of chain events, one of these, at least one of these family members, if not two or two plus of these family members, is about to end up in jail over this. And the insurance company will will be able to find the contact information for the Leo Feminine. That this family is trying hard to hide it. Oh shit. So you plug it in how it resonates. So whoever this Leo Feminine is to you, Cancer, um, whoever she is to you, it's a Leo Fem. She can have Leo in her Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Feminine, or Jupiter, Charles. For some, I feel you could be in her family. For some, you could just know her. But whoever she is to you, her toxic ass family claimed she was dead. Basically, they claim she was dead. Now, you could have known that this family was trying, that this family did this or not. I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But somebody's talk, a Leo feminist toxic family basically claimed she was dead. So much so that it sounds like one or two or two plus mem family members basically took out an insurance policy on her. It sounds like a um, claiming she was deceased. Um, but I heard she's not deceased. And um, she's always still living here with us. And um, the um, insurance company is about to find this out or already has found this, already has found this out. See, somebody don't want to speak about this. Already has found this out. And basically, I heard they're trying to find the contact information for the Leo Femme. The family's trying hard to hide it. Um, they're about to learn it from someone they would have never expected to learn it from. For one person, it is a cancer they're about to learn it from. They're about to learn it from someone they would have never expected to learn it from. So the insurance company is about to learn it from someone they would have never expected to learn it from. And in one of these situations, it's a cancer they're about to learn this contact information for the Leo Femme. Um, So you could be the cancer going to give this uh, insurance company um, the contact information for the Leo Femme. Or you could be a cancer that knew about this crazy shiesty plan and kept it hidden, however that resonates, or not known about it, however that resonates and applies, but I heard at least one person that's talks to family through many series of chain events is going to end up in jail, if not two or two plus, so, but they shouldn't have, um, they shouldn't have filed a false insurance claim saying this Leo feminine was dead, basically, and I'm just being serious, um, I heard one of you cancers is going to connect with the insurance company and you're going to um, give the contact information uh, for the Leo Femme. So kudos to you, high vibrational cancer. You treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. Kudos to you. Sounds like you're going to help this situation. Um, this is sick. This is sick. Um, why would anybody do this except to harm somebody? And that's just the damn truth. And grief. Retreat. A cancerous connection with the Libra is about to completely dissolve. Low vibrational Libra. A cancerous connection with the low, low vibrational Libra is about to completely dissolve. So you could be dissolving this connection with the low vibrational Libra or the Libra, low vibrational Libra could be dissolving it with you, cancer. Only you know your story and situation, not anybody else. But um, they could have Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them and energy for your hearts if that resonates for you. Cancer. It can be masculine fem Libra, but somehow uh, a low vibrational Libra's relationship with you is about to dissolve, whether you're going to dissolve it or they're going to dissolve it or what have you, what have you. You're going to retreat from this situation or they're going to retreat from the situation. You're going to, uh, somebody's about to retreat from the connection, whether it's you retreating or them retreating. You plug it in how it resonates, Cancer. And also this could be um, the high vibrational Cancer about to retreat from the, um, retreat to the insurance company and um, retreat away from some kind of toxicity with somebody stealing somebody's policy, uh, drawing policy out on somebody that hasn't deceased basically and retreating to the insurance company and um, displaying information, um, contact information for the Leo Feminine. Um, kudos to whoever you are, sir, ma'am. Um, yikes.
I vacation soon. Maui for one. The mountains for one. Maine for one. Montana for one. A vacation soon, Maui for one, the mountains for one, Maine for one, and Montana for one. So you're about to retreat on a vacation. It's not a staycation. It is a um, traveling vacation, whether it's Maui, the mountains, Maine, or Montana. Um, congratulations, whoever that's for. I love vacations when I can take them. Huge manifestation soon. Huge. Huge manifestation soon. Huge is what I heard. So one of you guys is about to have a huge manifestation. Now, you know, you can have uh, manifestations are several different ways. It can be, it's a huge, manifestation is basically drawing in a lot. Now, that can go in a positive or negative sense. What are you drawing in? You know, is it money legally or illegally? Is it um, uh, connections, positive or negative? Is it opportunities, positive or negative? You can manifest things, um, mega manifest things, and it not necessarily always turn out. And that's just the truth. Um, you can manifest, hugely manifest, mega manifest, and it be illegal money, pos um, negative connections, um, people that don't mean well for you and bad opportunities and it turn out badly is what I'm saying. Or it can go positively. Um, it's like the Wheel of Fortune energy. So it can turn out positive or negative um, is what I'm trying to say, okay? But some kind of huge mega, mega manifestation for you, whether it turns out positively or negatively, cancer, okay? <clears throat> A cancer has run into an energy succubus. They believe in them now. A cancer has run into an energy succubus. You believe in them now. So you didn't believe in energy succubuses in the past, but you do now. Um, whoever you are, cancer, um, you have ran into one in your life, whoever you are. And how that applies. It could be that low vibrational lever or it could be anybody else. But you have, it sounds like whoever that's for, you did not believe in energy vampires, energy succubuses, and Low vibrational dark arts people that basically sucked you dry of energy, time, or money. Oh, well, I'm sure you probably did the money part, but um, the energy or time part, as far as energetic sharing, energy vampire energy. But I heard you do now. You believe in them now. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Vote, money, or property through an inherited winning or windfall. A very significant inheritance coming to a cancer. Very large inheritance. A very significant large inheritance coming to a cancer. Um, congratulations, whoever that's for. I heard it's very significant and very large. So it could be money or property. Um, and I heard it's an inheritance in this aspect. So money, property, asset or assets or what have you, what have you. Um, uh, through I heard through an inheritance and it's very large whatever this is. Congratulations. And for one, you're about to get a bonus. And for one, you're about to get a bonus. So that might be where you're about to take your vacation because you're about to get a bonus, um, whoever you are and how that applies. Congratulations. Clouds, temporary problems.
A cancer is about to find out that a Capricorn has stolen a shit ton of money from their sister. It's about to light a huge fire under your ass. For one, you're going to create a series of chain of events to arrest this person. Oh my god. So, for one of you guys, I heard you're about to find out that a Capricorn has stolen a shit ton of money from their sister, I heard. Um, I heard you're about to get a huge ass fire lit under your ass and basically create a series of chain of events to arrest this person. So, I think you might work for, um, you might be police or you might be a judge or you might work in the law enforcement um or you or or you have some kind of power of an authority an authority to create a series of chain of events to arrest a person how that resonates but um i heard basically um you're about to find out that a capricorn has stolen i heard a shit ton so a very 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 large amount of money from uh their sister um, now it could be masculine femme caps, they could have caps in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in energy for charts. But I heard basically, um, you are going to be driving force to create a series of chain of events to help this person get arrested. So temporary problems, um, as far as they have stolen a sister's very, very, very large amount of money. Um, and it sounds like they have taken it and ran, they have retreated, but, um, you're about to have them arrested. Um. Cap, uh, not Capricorn Cancer, that resonates for you. So, temporary problems, I'm um, going to lock the, the huge ass thief up, uh, if that resonates for you. There's a lot of theft in here. A lot of theft. Um, it's not you stealing, but it's other pe you guys knowing of other people stealing. Or about to find out of other people stealing. So, you plug it in how it resonates. Eye problems. Heart problems. Eye problems and heart problems is what I just heard. Eye problems and heart problems. So temporary problems, um, eye problems and heart problems. So maybe you had temporary eye, um, eye issues or heart issues. Um, how that resonates and applies cancer. Um, it's under the temporary problems for the message. So I feel like maybe somebody had some um, chest pains or heart palpitations or um, it's something, I don't think it lasted very long, temporary. Um, now, chest pains are not anything you mess around with and that's just the truth. Neither are heart palpitations, but I don't think they lasted long under the temporary problems issue. I think somebody, um, you had eye issues in some shape, form, or fashion, but maybe you went and had surgical procedure to remedy it or to help it or, um, or, yeah, that's what I think with the eye problems. And then the heart problems, um, maybe you had surgery and it was temporary. Now, um, it's remedied as well, or it could have been like short pal chest palpitations or short chest pains or something like that. You plug it in how it resonates. Rainbow, the most difficult part of the situation is over. Someone is about to get their spiritual gifts taken away. It's about to shock the hell out of you. For one, you're about to get your spiritual gifts back. For one, your spiritual gifts are about to increase. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So for one of you guys, somebody's about to get their spiritual gifts taken away. 
So um, clear audience, clear voice, clear sentience, psychic medium abilities, or uh, dreamscape. Somebody's about to get their sex check taken away. It's about to shock you. Um, it's not you. It's somebody else. And for one of you guys, you're about to get your spiritual gifts back. Um, you lost them for some reason, and for one, your gifts are about to increase. So congratulations to whoever that's for. But somebody is about to get their spiritual gifts taken away. Air sign energy. Air sign energy. I heard air sign energy. It's air sign about to get their um, spiritual gifts taken away. I heard it's about to shock the hell out of you. So they could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Fourth, Moon, and Hamid, Jupiter charts. But I will say, people that get their spiritual gifts taken away, they get them taken away for reasons. For reasons, um, they have done something in the everyday 3D world terrible to cause their spiritual gifts to be taken away. Spirit, the spiritual world realm strips them away be, for reasons. It's kind of like when um, Eve bit the apple. She was told not to bite it, but she did it anyways, kind of thing, if you believe in the Bible. And I'm just being for real. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. So, so an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Master Femme, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, about to get their spiritual gifts taken away. Um, it's going to shock you. For one, your spiritual gifts are about to increase. And for one, um, you're about to gain spiritual gifts. So you plug it in. Oh, no. And for one, I'm sorry, you're about to get your gifts back. You're about to get your gifts back. Now, you got them taken away in the past for some reason. Now, whatever you did to get them taken away, only you know that. I feel this air signs in spiritual jail is exactly what I feel. I didn't hear spiritual jail in here, but I intuitively, logic, intuition, and reason would tell you that obviously this person was in, um, they're in spiritual jail. And that's just the damn truth. Um, they have done really something really fucking terrible to get them taken away. And that's just the truth. And Aries is getting a huge wake up call. And Aries is getting a huge wake up call. I'm serious. So you don't just get your spiritual gifts taken away. The spiritual realms just don't take them away unless there's good reason to take them away. Some reason in Aries is getting a huge wake up call. Well, I mean, I'm just being for real. We're in Cancer's reading, but I'm just serious. If anybody needs to hear that. But congrats for the one of you about to get your spiritual gifts back and for the one where the, in, the this Cancer is where your gifts are going to increase. Congrats. All right, we're done. I love you guys. Hope this helped. And I'm a sec.